Hello and welcome. In this video, I am going to teach you how to create virtual machine from raw device mapping and install the operating system on that. So basically, understand what is a raw device mapping. Raw device mapping is the physical LUN which will be presented to your ESXi host from the storage and that LUN will have direct access to virtual machine and virtual machine will write directly on that LUN itself. So we are not going to use VMFS data store to create virtual machine. We will be creating a virtual machine and the virtual machine will have access directly to the storage LUN which is presented as raw device mapping. So let's get started. I'll go to VMs and templates. I'll right click on the desired data center and I'll say new virtual machine. I'll select the virtual machine configuration as custom and click on next button. I will type name as RDM test VM. I will click on next. I will select the cluster name. I will select the resource pool. It will ask me where do you want to keep the configuration file, virtual machine file. Just remember we are not going to use any VMDK. So only the configuration VM swap files and couple of NVRAM and system files will get created which is required for virtual machine to run on the data store which we are selecting. So I'm selecting some local data store and I'll click on next button. I will select the latest VM virtual machine version and click on next button. Here I'm going to install Windows 2008 64 bit operating system. I'll select one virtual CPU. 4 GB RAM is enough for me and I will select the appropriate VLAN. In the SCSI controller, I would ask you to use LSI Logic SAS controller and at the type of selecting disk, select the RDM. This option will available only if you presented any LUNs to your ESXi host. If you don't have any LUNs presented to ESXi host, this option will be grayed out. Click on next button. Select the LUN ID. This LUN ID will be provided by your storage admin or the storage guy who manages the storage. So make sure you select the correct LUN ID. If you select wrong LUN ID, you could use that LUN ID to install OS and you might lose some important data. So make sure you select the correct LAN ID. Select the appropriate LAN and click on next button. It will ask you where do you want to keep the LAN mapping virtual disk. Select the store with virtual machine. Click on next button. Keep it in a physical compatibility mode or virtual compatibility mode. I would say keep it virtual compatibility mode, mode because it will allow virtual machine to VMware to use VMware snapshot feature. So you can take a snapshot of a VM which is using RDM. That's great, isn't it? Click on next button. Then select this SCSI ID for the boot. I always prefer to select SCSI 0.0. .0 and when I select the data disk, I keep it on SCSI 1, 2, 3, 4 controller. So keep it on SCSI 0, 0 and click on next button. You can verify entire thing in the configuration page and click on finish button. It will take a couple of seconds to create a virtual machine. And once the virtual machine is created, you can go to 
host and cluster and RDM test VM is ready. Now you can go ahead and power on the virtual machine. Once it's power on, you can pop out the console window and minimize the background screen. And now it will ask you to boot media. So you can boot it from network or CD-ROM or USB disk as well. So after that, you can go, you can go to setting and provide some installable media and you can continue the installation. That's all. That's conclude how to create a VM which is using raw device mapping as a bootleg. Thank you so much for watching this video. I would like to subscribe my channel for more training. Thank you so much.